Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video I am going to show you how to get standard deviation and variance in pandas. So in this video series I've been doing pandas aggregation methods. In the last video series I did numpy aggregation methods and these are the things that we went through in numpy and now we are doing pandas. So with that being said let me go ahead and give you a preview of our data set this is our data set is basically a wine or let's say alcohol beverage consumption in the US and to get the standard deviation using numpy is very simple you just do df.std and that's it it will give you the standard deviation for every single column. Now getting the standard deviation using regular Python is a little bit, hmm, let's just say you need an extra module. To get standard deviation you're using regular Python, you have to make sure you import statistics and then you do statistics dot standard deviation stdv and then you pass in your data. If you pass in just a df, it's going to throw an error. It's not gonna work so if you're using the Python statistics module make sure you pass in a column in this case a single array right and the information it gives is 0 0.36 which is the same information that we got using pandas standard deviation so if you have to choose between pandas and statistics module I want to know which one is faster we can do something called time it time df.st let's make this a single column just to make it fair on both sides and um, let's put in df of beverages so you can see that using the python using the pandas module it's about 331 microseconds but using the statistics standard deviation module it's about 769 microseconds. So pandas is slightly faster than regular Python module in this situation. And on top of pandas being able to do the statistics, being able to do the standard deviation calculation for every single column, it also has other features that makes it a little bit better than using regular pandas statistics module. So what we've been doing so far has been um, column-wise operation. So in this situation, if we do axis equal to zero, it will give us the same information that we got above. Okay, that's because doing the calculation column-wise is the default. But what if we want to do row-wise operation? We can do that using pandas. And we do it by simply changing the axis from 0 to 1. Now we have the standard deviation for every single row. So if this is information you're interested in, this is how you do it. You just change the axis from 0 to 1 to get row-wise standard deviation calculation using pandas. So to do variance is also very similar to get the variance for your data frame using Pandas, you just do df.variance var in this situation, and it gives you the variance calculation for every single column. And to do it with regular Python, you do statistics.variance, and then if you pass in just a data frame, you get an error message. So you have to specify which column to do the variance calculation for. As you can see, the variance. It outputs from the Python statistics module is the same thing as we got from pandas variance method and of course you can also do row wise operation so you can do df dot variance axis equal to one now we have the variance for every single row I don't know why you would need this information but if you do that is how you do it and just for fun, quickly before I end this video, let's go ahead and um, do time it for each one of these. 
And once again, PANDAS is faster than the statistics module when it comes to calculating variance. And also, you can use PANDAS to calculate something called mean absolute deviation. If you're interested in this, you calculate mean absolute deviation using PANDAS, you just do df.mad. And you'll be able to calculate the mean absolute deviation. Now, mean absolute deviation is not like a popular metric that people calculate. But if you need that information, you can use PANDAS to calculate the mean absolute deviation for your data frame. That's basically it for this video. That is how you calculate variance using PANDAS and using regular Python. In a different video, I show you how to calculate variance using NumPy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you made it this far in this video, but you didn't like it, please give it a double thumbs down and still subscribe to the channel. You can get access to this notebook by going to machinelearningeducation.com. This is a platform I created just for, just for you. And once you are here, you can click on free data science resources and it will take you to this page machinelearningeducation.com slash free and this is where I have my data science tutorial python notebooks so I create a lot of youtube videos and a lot of blog posts and I just find it easy and more straightforward to take all my python notebooks and all my tutorial notebooks and put them in one platform so that is why I created machinelearningeducation.com slash free and you can get access to, to the notebook I use in today's video and any notebook that I use in any of my videos or blog posts. And also, you can visit me online at evidencen.com. This is my primary website where I have my data science blog post. And as time goes by, I'm going to add more and more stuff to my data science blog post. And once you are here at evidencen.com, you can also click on this to get access to my free data science resources at machinelearningeducation.com slash free. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye.